Hello, my name's Lucy. I'm a second year PhD student in the Department of Earth Sciences at the University of Oxford, and I'm studying ancient lakes on the surface of Mars. I have an unusual pathway into the department because my undergraduate master's was physical geography. I studied at Durham from 2011 to 2015, and I always wanted to study earth sciences. I took it to A-level and loved it, but I soon realized that my other A-levels didn't wouldn't have put me on the right pathway for, for that at degree level. I hadn't done physics, chemistry, maths, so I would have struggled. Physical geography was okay though, kind of the geology of the present day, of you know, environmental processes happening today or near today, which is okay. But I really got into my subject when I started looking at the planet Mars. In my third year, we took a module on the surface of Mars and I realized it was its own planet like Earth. It had that deep time, it had these fantastic mysteries, it had imagination required to understand it and that to me is what I loved about geology. I wasn't going to apply to Oxford, I was intensely put off by the £60 and now £75 application fee. Also I didn't think I was clever enough, I hadn't applied here for my undergraduate, but at postgrad level I don't think it's about cleverness, it's about passion for your subject, it's about a proven capability to succeed in your research area. And another thing is, you don't go where the league tables tell you to go, you go where the specific researchers in your field are on top form, and that doesn't always correspond with where the Times Higher Education says is the best institution. I would read my now supervisor's name on many papers, I knew he was world leading, I knew he was one of the few active planetary researchers in the UK, but what ultimately made me apply here was because his focus was on lake geochemistry on Mars, something I had no background in, I knew nothing about chemistry, but to understand Mars I knew this would be the perfect way forward for me, and that's why I applied. I tried not to think about how I was applying to Oxford, I treated it like any other application, and when I was accepted I ultimately didn't choose Oxford because of its world standing and reputation, but because of the specific direction my PhD could go in. My geography roots are far behind me and I'm now an aqueous geochemist working here in the Department of Earth Sciences, finally a geologist. My PhD involves reconstructing an ancient lake on the surface of Mars, the remains of which NASA's Curiosity rover is studying right now. So I work in these labs with anoxic glove boxes, and these are boxes where the Earth's air has been filtered out and a mix of nitrogen and hydrogen is pumped in, because there was and is no oxygen on the surface of Mars. My lakes are beakers of acid, my bedrock is a iron rich mineral that I synthesize myself. I mix the two together in a beaker and observe the reaction processes, the minerals that formed, and I'm doing this so I can constrain minerals actually seen on Mars, so that we can understand what atmosphere they formed under, what environmental conditions, and in doing so we can better understand the surface of Mars. I love what I do, like any PhD it's often repetitive, things go wrong, but if I succeed I'll have genuinely contributed in however small a way to understanding the surface of another planet, and getting to do that for a job is a pretty good motivator on a Monday morning. My plans are really open for the future, I don't even know if I'm going to stay in academia. Um, the year I graduate, two rovers are landing on Mars, a NASA one and ESA one, to work on those, to be part of the team that first sees the images that come back for anyone else. That will be incredible. Um, who knows? That, that will be amazing. At postgrad level, nobody cares whether you're southern or northern, from a private or state school, even if you got first across all your modules, the most important quality that you need to demonstrate when you're applying is a proven ability to conduct good research, and also passion, because that is the fuel that's going to get you through it. My biggest piece of advice to anyone thinking of applying to Oxford for postgrad level is don't let yourself be swayed by rankings and reputation, because these aren't the most important factors. Finding a supervisor you know will support you, finding a fantastic world-leading research group, and finding a department with the facilities to carry out that amazing research, these are the things that are going to keep you sane, and also propel your career in the direction you most want it to go. Oxford's Department of Earth Sciences is the best place for me to learn to become a planetary geochemist, and I love my life here. And I'd encourage anyone to apply if, after looking into it, you think that this too would be the best place for your postgraduate research. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, please just ask.